Mainstream media and the lefties are losing their absolute shit over this photo. Bit of a lighthearted jab. Then Trump, Elon Musk, Don Jr., RFK Jr., and Speaker Mike Johnson eating McDonald's on Trump's private plane. Come in here. You think that's poison, yeah? <laughs> Eat the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, in front of us right now. Eat the whole thing. <laughs> and by the way, when you're done eating the whole thing, Grimace is going to come in here and f***ing yes. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Poor Mike Johnson there. Poor Mike Johnson right there. Oh, he didn't even get a seat at the cool kids' table. <laughs> and Republican Party well represented here at UFC 309. <laughs> Fans, a Kid Rock and Elon Musk. This is like the Last Supper, but everyone is Judas. A quarter pounder with cheese, 10 McNuggets, a large fries, and a Coke. That's what they call a farm-to-toilet meal. <laughs> Only Donald Trump would force his new health czar to eat McDonald's. And that's what he does. These are subservience tests he gives. Mike Johnson has... Yes, I don't know if the news is slow or what exactly is happening. The mainstream media, CNN, like you can see here, ABC, John Stewart and Jimmy, they are losing their minds over this picture. I saw this. I thought it is important. i show you some videos. When I look through what, and why are they even doing this? It is simply because they are struggling to downgrade RFK, which I understand the kind of backlash they are still on, partaking to the position. So I'm just gaff here. Mainstream media and the lefties are losing their apps over this photo. It was the UFC fight. Donald Trump went, he took Elon Musk, he took his son, he took Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And for whatever reason, they took Mike Johnson. They got on Trump Force One and they all sat down to a big old meal of McDonald's. That face though. <laughs> and the backlash was fast and furious. He's gonna preach about health, but he's gonna sit down and eat McDonald. So much for make America healthy again. It sent me in a whole rabbit hole of McDonald's. Because if you're like me, you grew up thinking McDonald's had human meat in it. That was before the internet was a crazy thing that everybody had access to for the most part. Now I want to make it clear I'm not out here just advocating for McDonald's. I'm a firm believer in moderation. Also, this is what we had and this is what we got. So some of you can shut the hell up. Really? Turns out that the meat thing was completely fake. You can trace it all the way back to a Facebook post which then traces it all the way back to a satire site much like The Onion. Again, because we took everything that was put on the internet as gospel back then, we didn't really look into it. And did you know back when McDonald's first opened and for a really long time after that, they used to cook their fries or anything that they fried in beef tallow. Beef tallow is a rendered form of beef or mutton that is a solid at room temperature and can be kept for months in a sealed container. Tallow has been used for centuries in many industries, including cooking, candle making, tradition healing practices. They also use it to make soap. Some beautiful folks here on TikTok that make tallow soap. But most of the time people use it to fry their foods or they use it to grease their pans. Because back then we were buying our meat in whole. So you would buy an entire cow or you would buy an entire sheep and you would put the thing in the freezer and then you would get a big container full. Yes, watching the other day, I realized some people are already selling out their kind of water on social media. Some are selling on Facebook Marketplace. The kind of water that we're drinking, if RFK is finally approved, totally insane. They are kind of murdered down. After Trump appointed him, mm, but they have totally forgotten something. Who Biden appointed was not even somewhat relating to anything medical. I saw no backlash partaking to that person. Now RFK is the escape good. One thing that, of course, uh, came out over the weekend that uh, certainly rippled through my social media feeds was the photo of RFK uh, on the Trump plane um, doing something that uh, he previously seemed to suggest he would never do, which is eating a Big Mac, <laughs> or if maybe that's a Big Mac, I don't know, it's a McDonald's burger. Uh, the look on his face, uh, I mean, it's worth noting, let's play what RFK had previously had to say about the food that goes on to uh, Donald Trump's plane. Uh, but let's like put that, put his face back up there, like with that, posing with that Big Mac, Alex uh, Thompson, because this does not look like a man who's like thrilled to be there. It's a um, hostage video. Is that what this is? <laughs> and, and, you know, I also think, you know, beyond it being hilarious and just like the grimace on his face as he's being forced to eat poison to please Donald Trump. Um, I also think it gets to what our conversation was before. You know, there's some things that he could do at HHS that actually have a little bit of bipartisanship, bipartisan support, you know, sort of shaking up pharma, shaking up the FDA and like what, you know, stuff we eat. The thing that's going, but there is not a bipartisan consensus on his views on vaccines, on a lot of his more like, you know, conspiratorial 
uh, thoughts. And that's going to be, you know, the, the really interesting thing. If he does get confirmed, as Isaac was saying, you know, what he actually does when he has this sort of power could have like profound consequences. Yeah, I, no, I think it's a good point because there are some things that he's proposing. I mean, fluoride in water, for example, is one of the conversations that's been had in Western European countries, some of whom have removed it, right? And there is a, oftentimes, and we've talked about this on the show, a kind of uh, a health-related consensus where the right and the left come together, um, sometimes in conspiracy theory, yes. uh, but sometimes, sometimes not. All right. Yes, I believe you've seen the murder. It is not stopping. Someone wrote, I highly respect RFK and I think he is a man of integrity, but this photo looks like a humiliation ritual. You can tell by the look on his face. I'm sorry, but you should be able to speak truth to power and say, no, thank you, sir. I will just have a water. That is someone. I don't know why she had to attribute it like a humiliation ritual. Not everything you have to extend to this. It is crazy. I don't even believe in that. This might be something that he saw eating, but the kind of bad life, like I saw someone say, Trump for RFK to do this. So they could take a photo to send out on social media. That is the kind of things I heard. So I don't get the point. I want you to know your opinion on in the comment section. If we're being intellectually honest, there's really no good reason why Bobby Kennedy, RFK Jr. should be HHS secretary. An advisor, uh, a confidant, somebody who, who talks to the president and, and advises. But there's no managerial experience in his resume. There's nothing that says he is qualified to do this job, this job that is in charge of the health of all of us, all these different lanes. If he has views and has insights around food. Well, because well, what were the qualifications of the previous ones? Well, I think it's important to always remember that you put yourself. Say that again. What were the management qualifications? I mean, Xavier Becerra. I'm not talking about the previous. It, I'm talking it, about I'm looking forward. I know, I, but I, but you're, you're calling into question whether he could actually do this job. And I think it's absolutely. I think America is now. And I think I think it's, it's important, important to, to discuss it because Xavier Becerra was just a lawyer and a politician with no management experience. So, so there's two negative. Sylvia, two Sylvia, wrongs make Sylvia a right. Burwell was a Walmart lobbyist. Donna Shalala was a university person. Look, RFK fact, Jr. is a nut. The fact, okay, so that's different than what you just said. He, he, you just he, said he doesn't possess the requisite managerial experience, but then we get to the real issue here, which is you want to insult the man, which is your right to do because you oppose them in the election. But you, RFK doctor, Jr. are raising the issues that he has been raising, and and I think they're appropriate questions to raise. I don't know whether he can be confirmed or not. This is on point. If you want to question someone first thing, the Biden administration, like they support, he appointed someone that is not even linked to anything medical. No backlash. Nobody even talk about that. Now, because of RFK, they are freaking out like, oh my God. You can see the level of hypocrisy here. And I'm glad that Scott Jen is calling that out. It's amazing to see him doing the, the, this on CNN. These are the kind of people I want to watch. Calling out these people. For a very long time, they used to spew this, nobody to call them out. Now, it is amazing. Oh. I'm not saying, you know, he says that folks... I'm amazed. I, I did not expect Hitler to get so many meeting requests. First from Joe Biden, now from Mika and Joe. It's amazing that literal Hitler is getting all these meeting requests. And what it tells me, Professor, is that all the rhetoric that came from the left, from the Democrats, from the White House, from Kamala Harris and everyone else before the election, all of the rhetoric, the fascism, the Hitler, the Nazi rally at him, it was all a bunch of BS. As for us, we also let him know that we will continue to speak truth to power and push back hard. As a journalist, and I think I found the perfect phrase, go yourselves. The line is that America needs a free press that is willing to speak truth. Ovens had gone down. All Because come in two or three in the morning. 